Hello everybody and welcome, this is Roland Hartman from Graphic in Motion and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can customize my Christmas After Effects template. Before we get started in After Effects I want to quickly point out that there are actually two different versions of this template including in this project. So if you take a look at the project folder you see we have two After Effects project files in there and one is called Christmas No Plugins and the other one is called Christmas Plugins. So as the title says this first one doesn't require any additional third-party plugins. You can open it up with your basic After Effects installation. The second one is the original version and this requires Trapcode Particular and Video Copilot's Optical Flares. So depending whether you have the plugins or whether you just want to do a simple and quick customization, choose whatever version you want to work with. Another hint, before you open up one of the project files, I recommend that you install the fonts that I used for this template. You can find them inside the links folder. There are two links to the fonts, so download these fonts and then install them on your system. And now you're good to go and open up a project. For this tutorial, I will use the no plugins version of this template. So let's open it up and you see that After Effects says this project must be converted from version 10.02. This is not an error, this is completely normal and just means that the project was created with an older version of After Effects. I created this template with After Effects CS5 and now I'm using After Effects CC 2015 to do the customization. So I simply click OK and After Effects will open up the project and everything works as it should. The render composition should be already visible and open in the timeline. If not, then you find it up here in the project window. You see here's the render comp, double click to open it up. And the first step of the customization will be to change the text. So now we can enter the title setup composition, just double click this layer to enter the comp. And now we are in the title setup comp. And if you want to enter your own title, then you can enter the main title composition. Here you can enter the main title. And of course, we also have a composition for the subtitle. And you see in the subtitle, there is now my logo, but you can also exchange this with a simple text layer. To edit these titles, you simply select the layers, double click, and now you can enter your own text. So let's say I want to enter here, happy holidays. And I also want to make this a little bit smaller. I could scale it down, but I can also use the size of my characters here so make it a little bit smaller let's bring it a bit closer together and this is good now I go to my subtitle and you see here you can enter a title or as I said you can also enter your logo important is if you want to use a logo that it has a transparent background whatever shape you put into the subtitle or the title layer or composition I should say will be transformed into this kind of golden, slightly 3D looking uh, titles or logos. So you could also use a logo in the main title composition if you want. But for this example, I will just exchange my logo, make it invisible and add my subtitle here. And I go to my title setup. And now I'm finished with my quick customization. So. This is it. If you just want to have this as a very quick Christmas uh, greeting card, then you are good to render it out. Don't forget, always render out the render composition. Of course, you can add audio. I included uh, extra composition. Open this one up. Import your audio file again by choosing File, Import, and then navigating to your audio file, which I will not do now. Drag it in, and then you are good to render it out. But you also could create your own look of this template. So let's create, let's say, another look like uh, not based on red and gold, but based on blue and some kind of silver. Therefore, you can enter the color setup in the render composition and open up your effect controls panel here. And you see we have a bunch of color controls. We can control each of these elements here individually. So just for a moment, I will disable my title setup comp so that I can see what I do here. I just made it invisible. And now I can start changing my colors. So first of all, I want to change my background color and therefore I just select the background inner color first. And I will change this to a blue. Let's say I'll make it a little bit brighter. Something like that. Looks pretty good. Maybe a bit more. Uh, okay. 
And then I simply take over the color from my inner to the outer background, open up this and make it way darker. Something like that. Okay. And you see through the change of the background, uh, these elements of course also change their look, but I will make this a little bit more interesting. So let's take a look at another frame, what we have here, so that I can see a bit of my flares. And you see this looks now pretty white, so I want to add a little bit of a bluish shine to these elements. So first of all, I take my flare and I will make this really only very, very slightly bluish. So let's see, like so. This looks quite good. Now I take my light streak color and the same, I will make this a little bit blue, but not much just slightly, so that we have a slight bluish touch to it, like so. The big snow chunks that are flying around here, I will make them more or less white, let's say. That looks good. And the small ones, I will make them slightly blue as well. And these stars that are flying around here, I will take over the same color as for the small snow. Maybe I will intensify the blue here a little bit. That I have a bit of variation in here. Now we have these big snowflakes that are flying around here. I will take the same color from the small snow. And then I have the particle explosion. And the particle explosion is this uh, kind of firework style that we have here. It's around uh, between six and seven seconds. And if you take a look, I will just increase the resolution a bit. Um, this is now still a little bit yellow yellowish but i want to change it to let's say also something a little bit of a different color maybe something pink could even brighten this up a bit okay and now we have these christmas balls that are flying with our trail and that are sitting on the christmas tree and they are red now and i also want to change this color to maybe something like uh, purple or pink not that saturated, maybe something like that. Okay. And the last elements that I can colorize are these really slightly visible dots and snowflakes in the background here. You see that we have uh, three of these actually. We have these snowflakes, they're now yellow. This is of course not looking yellow because the opacity is very low and it's also a screen blend mode. But I will change this so that they have a slight bluish tint to them say something like that and I will take the same color for the background particles too and for these particles let's say we take just white so that they are a little bit more visible okay so this is it you see we have made a nice new look of our template and if you take a look at this layer here, we have another layer that's called color correction. And here you can, of course, also change the color correction a bit. If you disable it, you see that I used it to create a little bit more contrast and to intensify the colors a bit. So you can play around here. It's a simple curve adjustment, but you can also only leave it as it is because, yeah, I think it looks quite good. What we can do now is enable our titles again. And now you will see, if we move the cursor to a later frame here, that this of course doesn't really look so good. So let's change this golden look to something like uh, silver or chrome. Therefore, again, I go to my title setup composition and I select the title style setup layer right on top here. And you see here, I have three different color controls which control the colors of my text here or my elements. Let's zoom in a bit. To create a silver look, I will simply select the highlights and instead of this uh, very bright yellow color I will take something that is nearly white a little bit of gray maybe but something like that for the midtones I will select something gray and I will add a slight bluish touch to it too because our whole uh, scenery is a little bit blue so if you add a slight bluish touch this will help to sell the effect something like that and now for our shadows, I quickly take over the colors from my midtones, go in there, and now I will simply make them darker. So let's take a look what this did. And now you see we have this uh, silverish gray look. And if I go back to my render composition, it looks not too bad. Maybe it's a little bit too dark. So we can go back to our title setup and brighten this up a bit. 
You see here we have a contrast slider and we also have a brightness slider. If I increase the contrast slider, the bright areas will get brighter and the dark areas will get darker. If I increase the brightness slider, the overall look will be brighter. So I will increase both of these values and I will go back to my render composition. And you see this looks not too bad. Maybe it's a little bit too much contrast now. So I go back and quickly reduce this, let's say, to 240. Okay, so let's go back and take a look. And I think that this looks really good. And now I will be ready to render this out. So uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Uh, thanks a lot for purchasing the template if you already did. I hope that you like it. I hope that you can create some nice Christmas greetings for your friends, your family, your customers or whatever. If you have any questions, then feel free to write me a message through VideoHive or through my website, which is www.graphicinmotion.com. So thanks for watching. I really hope to see you soon. Merry Christmas and goodbye.